Anyway, it leads us to a top uh, to a segment where we call we only have three minutes because I like to ramble on too long sometimes. So this segment is called we only got three minutes and we discuss fully on a topic, uh, a subject that was really big. And this subject I want to talk about. Everyone has to chime in, please. Is about Nilofa. Why are you all clapping? Uh, you have to type it. <laughs> no, but I want to know your, your thing. The whole drama about Nilofa, okay, for those of you who don't know, uh, she launched her product, which is a special turban thingy, uh, hijab. Uh, hijab, hijab, hijab kind hijab. of hijab. scarf. Turban. No, it no, actually is little turban, dude. I'm not <laughs> joking. But uh, oh, the hijab, yeah. she launched it at Zook and big drama happened. Lah. And when the big drama happened, people, uh, the moral police came out and uh, in throves and saying a lot of uh, ridiculous things to a point where Nilofa had to, uh, had to come out and put, uh, uh, put up an apology about the whole situation. But the crazy part about the whole thing is, I think it's a brilliant gimmick or a stunt because the thing sold out within 24 hours. Her products, 24 hours, gone. You know, the people who were complaining, thank you for the advertisement kind of thing, like Nilofa will say. But I put up, the biggest question is, what got people angry? One, was it the location? Two, was it the video that you got, got girls in the hijab dancing? Or three, was it Nilofa dancing? So what was the drama of three. everybody? Huh? All, three. All three. The the argument was that uh, when they put it up, it should, there's so many other places to do it because that place is known for alcohol. If you do it in a hotel, hotel sells alcohol as well. What's the logic to that? Well, I think first of all, you have to understand what a hijab means. Modesty. It's a, it's a form of modesty, it's right. humility. Right. It's, so basically, even the launch itself is a problem. Right. It's not something that needs to be done. Right. Because, but then again, the fault with the hijab community is also that they're worried about a hijab that's wearing brand, but you shouldn't have a brand. To a hijab? That, yeah. No, that's my point. That's my point. You shouldn't have a brand to hijab, but now you've got brands for the hijab. So and it doesn't get it. The whole thing is just weird. Really no. Weird, but the thing that I also another thing is like, as far as venues are concerned, right. there is also like day one community where there's no alcohol and everything. See, the thing is, if you're a devoted Muslim, you yourself know what's right and what's wrong. Correct, correct. And they're trying to obscure it. Yeah. And and so, obviously the ones complaining should shut up as well. <laughs> it's not like, like they did not. No, but the, the thing that got me was really funny is because people like, oh my God, these people are dancing and moving around. Yeah. It was a closed event. That videos that came out was people sharing the event. It wasn't them publicizing it. And uh, the, the next part is, the people who are upset with it, were you turned on by that? If you were turned on by that, uh, God gave you a special tool to stop uh, self-censorship. It's called an eyelid. Close it, sense it. You cannot see it really, then you're safe. No, but so, a lot of Muslim men also forget that in the Quran it states, lower your gaze if yeah. you're looking at something you don't like. Exactly! They, so, it's like, how you, why are you blaming the girl if you are turned on? It's yeah. look way. It's your, yeah, it's your yeah. And, and 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 <laughs> this one I have to say lah. Uh, I put it up on my Instagram. Um, I blurred out the guy's name, so don't go look for the flare or anything. But anyway, the guy, you know what his comment? Because I asked which one uh, made you angry. The guy's comment is, uh, "Inilah tanda kiamat akan tiba." In other words, the end of the world is coming because of people like this. And I'm like, um, bro, what's your justification? for this and then he keeps quiet next thing you know he tags me in a video for Caprice okay Caprice put up a video where he talked about it all right and uh, there are a few parts about what he said I agree is okay with it but um, there was one part you have that video right there was yes. one part at the end where he said this that's all I can say maybe it's about time you, you get a man in your life to guide you I'm just saying I mean bang, 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 bang. okay what he said at the end which made me go oh, because the rest was his opinion on the whole matter at the end he says maybe you need a man in your life to set yourself straight who said that Caprice? Caprice okay well let's okay let's let's like also not forget Caprice is full of shit <laughs> <laughs> no but but here's the thing that guy tagged me to that picture for an explanation because I said, what is your proof and yeah. justification for this? 
and he tagged me for that picture as his proof. Then I asked again, Caprice is not a scholar in this, exactly. so therefore you cannot use that as proof. Where's your proof? Oh, I, I, I remember I, I, I heard a Mufti or someone say that. I said, once again, where is your proof? Where is it in the Quran or your holy book that states that? If it states that in the holy book, you have proof, you have peace of mind rather than someone else say it. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. but anyway, so the Nilofa drama, she came out, apologized, everything is okay, no more drama, everybody calm down, let it be, move on, and buy the branded hijabs. Yes, I, I think we did more than three minutes, I'm sorry, it's just, I had to go ramble on. Next time, I think I need to put a timer on this. <laughs>